in Canada, Terry Fox is immortalized. I hope that what I've done has been an inspiration, and I hope I, that people will take off and continue where I left off here. Steve Fonio did pick up where Terry left off. In 1985, at the age of just 19, Steve Fonio was a very big deal. Like Terry Fox before him, Fonio lost a leg to cancer and ran across Canada to raise awareness and money for research. Once he passed Thunder Bay, the spot where Terry Fox was forced to stop, publicity picked up. Donations poured in, and Fonio fever exploded. Not even a rock star could top this. Fonio raised $13 million for cancer research. He was even named to the Order of Canada. But since then, his life has been hard. Petty theft, drug addiction, and assault charges have meant a fall from grace. In 2010, his Order of Canada was rescinded. He's been out of the spotlight for years now, bitter and angry. This the people of Canada are guilty. It's their fault because of where I am. And earlier this year, he suffered a beating so bad, he still has trouble speaking. Now, a new documentary called Hurt tells his tale, a man desperate for redemption. I sat down with Steve Fonio yesterday in Toronto. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I don't know whether the young people remember you, but I sure remember you, right? Well, that's good, thank you. <laughs> so I hear there was a standing ovation for your film. Yes, for the documentary. That's right. How did that feel? It felt a little weird, but it went good. I say watch myself on big screen TV, it took a little while to get used to. Yeah. It's all good. You've um, dealt with a lot of crap in your life. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I guess starting with the cancer. Well, maybe it started before that. But... Mm, not sure, but I always did a lot of shit. More than the average person. Mm. Yeah, and it's hard. Is it hard to talk now? You have a. Yeah, I got a home invasion, a stab the side. My voice been affected. I'm kind of bothered by that. Um, it was way worse, actually. My voice come back, but very slowly. Hmm. You know, I uh, went through hell. Well, let's go back to 85. Sure. So you had cancer, you lost your leg, yeah. and you decided, why did you want to run? Long story, I just wanted to help people. Want to do something good, and I got the idea of Terry Fox, and it snowballed. Then you get to you get past Thunder Bay, and people start paying. Things started to really change after Thunder, Big Thunder time. Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. All the new people, all the farming, your satellite dishes, and the whole lineup of of people, vehicles, and equipment, and your stuff. And you get to the Pacific, which had been Terry Fox's goal. You you got there. Right. What was that day like? Well, it was the best day of my life. Um, I knew it was going to be coming to an end. I was excited. What can I say? Hmm. Finally. In the film, there's this moment where you go, where the filmmaker wants to take you to Fonio Beach. Right. You don't want to go. No. Why is it torture for you to see this What place? do you think? Figure it out. Use your imagination. Like, I don't like being here. I'm not ready to get in the van. I really don't want to be here. I don't, don't even think. I'm not even going to walk down to the beach. So forget it. Sorry. Why? Ah, a couple things. I'm in a bad mood. Certain things, you know, I've just been there before numerous times. I had no re reason to go down there. I'm just... It was raining. I was bad mood. Knock yourself out. Enjoy my beach. At the same time, you shove it up your ass too. <laughs> but it's all good. Beach will always be there. Hmm. But there's a statue there. Yeah. And it's not to you. It's I don't know. To Terry Fox. I am, to be honest with you, I am a little bit bothered by it. You know, it's my beach. I finished it there. No offense, but to Terry Fox, but his statue is, he has no business being there. That's my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just don't, can't figure it out. 
Well, people still love him, and they're kind of... Sure, I understand that. So do I, so does everybody, but... They kind of got mad at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you lost your way for a while. Oh, sure I did. Absolutely. I did lose my way. What, what happened to you? I don't know. One of those things. Maybe I was just too young. I don't know, but it happened. And I think the best thing is learning to get up and continue on. Easy to say. <laughs> yeah. I had no choice. They gave you the uh, the Order of Canada. Right. That's pretty special. Yes, thank you. And then they took it away. I know. Was that hard? Oh, sure it was. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think it was right. Why? <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't talk about it, but I will. I'm a guy, I believe if you give somebody something, you give it to them. You don't go back 20 years later and take it back. That's how I look at it. Well, it's because you'd been in jail and there were assault sure. charges and right. bad stuff. But it's not exactly the way it seems. You know, I mean, you hear about it and you think that it's true, but it's not. You hurt a lot of people. Really? You punched me in the face, Steve. Oh, okay. I'm not going to argue. Like this long. I'm not going to argue the fact with you. Okay. If I did, I would have been arrested, but I didn't. The woman you had an affair with, you brought her to your wife's house, for Christ's sakes. How stupid is that? You broke some laws? Yes, I did. I didn't want to hurt anybody, though. I'm sorry if I did. Hmm. I thought the only person I hurt was myself. I guess maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. So you think that the people, the Order of Canada people, should be more I sympathetic? Think be, yes, I think so. Hmm. What would you say to them? I would say what they heard, some of it is not exactly true. And before they get away, I would maybe offer to help. Anything we can do to help you. Instead of taking it away, it's too simple. So do you feel like you've been in this kind of weird competition with Terry Fox? Maybe in the beginning, but not, not now, I don't feel. You know, it's all for the same point. It's all to help cancer and raise as much money as possible. So either way, it doesn't really matter. You say the only person you've heard is yourself? That's what I thought, yes. Seeing the movie, do you think maybe you might have hurt a few other people too? Yeah, of course. I forget more family and things like that. Yes, I did. What about the people of Canada? You say, you say you're, you kind of blame them for bad things in your life. Yeah, I, again, you know, don't take it the wrong way, but sometimes when we're mad and upset, we say things we don't mean. And at that time, I was probably mad, I was upset about something, and I say things I don't mean. Um, I believe that whatever has happened in my life, has to do with me. I made a mistake. It's not Canada's fault. Even though I'm saying that, it's not true. I don't feel that way. Hmm. So are you like seeking forgiveness in this film? What's the, yes. what's really? Yeah. So please forgive me for things I've done. I'm not that kind of guy and I'm very sorry. Do you think that reaction that you got the other night, was that people saying we forgive you? <laughs> Yes, I'd say so. Really? Yeah. Uh, the people were very, very, for the movie, very supportive, and I thank them for that. I think it's awesome. It's been lovely to meet you, Steve. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Awesome.